up next we have a knowledge report on how india shops online consumer preferences in the metro policies and the tier 1 2 3 and 4 cities and to present this very exciting knowledge report ladies and gentlemen join me in welcoming on stage mr prateek sinha partner and experience consulting leader pwc india mr ravi kapoor partner and leader retail and consumer goods pwc india and mr somik goswami partner and business transformation leader pwc india ladies and gentlemen let's put our hands together and welcome once again mr prateek sinha mr ravi kapoor and mr somik goswami to present the knowledge report on how india shops online consumer preferences in the metro policies and tier 1 2 3 and 4 cities over to you sir a very good evening uh, you know we had a very insightful session which had uh, platform providers solution providers business and you know if you look at the e-commerce boom in this country and the consumer challenge that everybody just spoke about i feel the next wave of challenge is going to be very different in nature the penetration of online in tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 cities is going to drive very different paradigm shift in terms of challenges that businesses will have to face in terms of customer experience in terms of loyalty in terms of really connecting the last mile of the ecosystem to make customer stickiness much more impactful you know while the established brands cater well to the urban audiences there is a huge knowledge gap that still exists regarding the consumer behavior of the non urban population the aspiration to you know buy or consume bigger brands bigger brand goods and services are growing by day the gap in having access to physical store for some of these aspirational brand is going to lead to consume or buy more and more of goods and services through online that is where the new emerging online shopping behavior of india will emerge consumer preferences in the metropolises and the tier 1 to 4 cities is going to be very different and you really cannot have one approach to create customer centricity for all what we have done is through this report we have tried to address this challenge which we have commissioned a extremely comprehensive study to gain a very deep understanding of the very very distinct needs and preferences we have gone to 35 cities across metros across tier 2 tier 3 and conducted a both qualitative and quantitative studies with more than 2500 respondents with over 100 plus face to face interviews we have tried to leverage the insights from our survey we have tried to look at the technology impact we have tried to look at their buying behavior we have tried to look at how they look at aspiring to buy brand what do they look at when they are trying to consume goods and services and how does the businesses processes need to evolve around satisfying this new india consumer to be cognizant of the esg aspect we have tried to launch the you know the the uh, report digitally and you will be having a soft copy which you can download from the url that will share with you follow this launch we have my colleague ravi kapoor who leads the sector for pwc the retail and consumer sector and my fellow colleague and partner prateek sinha who really puts himself in the customer shoes in terms of really understanding the empathy of the customer empathy of the consumer in his or her journey to buy or influence a product so with that may we launch this report 
and hope you all find this report insightful when you go through it. So that's the launch of the report, How India Shops Online. Is there a URL, Sudeep, which you, you can just put up? You can scan this report and download. Primarily what we are trying to talk about in this report is when we speak about hyper-personalization, what drives those behavior? When you're talking about data-driven customer centricity, customer experience, how the new India behavior of shopping is very going to be different from how typically an urban population would have done it over the years. How we are going to witness a significant growth in terms of online penetration by the tier two, tier three behavior buying pattern, which is going to really drive the next wave of growth of online shopping. With that, may I request Ravi and Pratik to maybe kick off the conversation. Hi. Uh, very warm good evening. Thank you so much, uh, Shamik, for setting up this uh, fabulous report full of insights. I'm sure super relevant as well, right? Because that's where the action is. And we are going to inundate all of you with a lot of data points which are emerging from this uh, research. Very insightful again. And hopefully that will spur multiple conversations in your organizations. And we are obviously there to take some of them as well with you. Um, if I take, um, give you some more color to how we actually went about um, doing this. So just to genuinely uh, represent the, the diversity that is India, um, essentially what we have done is that we have broken the urban India into two broad buckets. We are calling it urban as essentially Metro 1, Metro and Tier 1. Tier 1 essentially being 1 million plus population towns and rest of India essentially being Tier 2, 3, 4, essentially everybody else, but again restricting to urban India here. And essentially a very balanced uh, picture across genders, and fairly representative of the age cohorts which exist in India. Um, and cities as well, as you can see, 35 cities. It's a fairly, fairly detailed one. Okay, so this is, uh, we are going to throw you some bunch of numbers, bunch of insights. Hopefully that will uh, spur some thinking at your end as well. It did a lot in us. 55%, uh, I think that number is essentially uh, um, uh, a revelation for us for sure. We used to think that the GDP is sitting in urban India. That's the way um, the the Gini coefficient of the country is, right? It's 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 unequal society, and most of the money is sitting in urban India. But actually, you know, the population is also big out there, and they are actually now tilting the scales. Fifty-five percent people sitting in tier two, three, four are actually driving the e-commerce business, as per our understanding. Uh, if we move on to the next slide. Um, Again, a set of numbers. Uh, that's super cool, isn't it? That's where the game is going to be. Uh, nine out of 10 incremental consumers, which are going to be part of the digital economy, is going to emerge from this cohort and generating $150 billion of business. Today, our sense is that we are doing roughly 60 billion e-commerce business as a country. And we are talking about a number roughly 3x, not a distant horizon, just six, seven years down the line. Uh, you would see this cohort becoming the dominant cohort which will shape the e-commerce landscape for the country. So we better take notice now so that we are ready for this um, opportunity as it is going to come across. I'll move on to the next one as well. And uh, Pratik. Yeah, let me get Can you guys hear me? All right. Maybe I'm on now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll just take a slight break from, uh, I mean, I'll depart from the script. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, to call out all the colleagues who have actually helped make this report happen. Uh, some of them are in the room. Many of them are online, so they'll see it in the recording. So I'd love for you to give it up for uh, Amit, for Sudeep, Mahamaya, and Shreyas. If you can please stand up, wave to everybody. <laughs> what, they've, what we've done, and I think I, I'm really excited to share this with you along with Shamik and uh, you know uh, Ravi and our colleagues is, you will not just see numbers. In the report, you'll see stories. You'll figure out why 
is this behavior happening? So th this report is as much about the what is happening as it is about why it is happening. And you will find anecdotal information around and behind all of these numbers. And we'll take you through uh, some of these numbers as the consumer shops. So the first step, if you will, we've taken as discovery, awareness, and so on. And you've very likely read the slide by now, so I don't have to read that for you. We thought this was, this was really uh, surprising. That, uh, in a way, not surprising, and maybe I've read the report too many times, but uh, it also, at least in my mind, showed my bias. And it helped me figure out that, you know, social media is a massive, massive part of the life of rest of India. And they take significant amount of inspiration from it. As retailers, as people who are selling products and services, it's important for us to know that uh, this statistic, 68%, almost 7 out of 10 people tried a product for the first time after seeing it on social media. So if you're not on social media, you're not getting that $150 billion that these people are going to generate in the next seven years. Another thing that was also very interesting, just a continuation of the social media bit, right? Like so much of rest of India, almost the same as Metro uh, Polis Indians, is on social media. They're using Telegram. 47% uh, of them uh, are on some community or the other. And also Josh, and uh, can we have a show of hands on anyone who, uh, have you heard of Josh? If yes, show, some, uh, show us some Josh. If you haven't, that's interesting. This is Metro India for you, <laughs> right? Josh is what came to market after TikTok was kicked out. Uh, and Josh is where the Josh is with uh, rest of India. A lot of the content discovery is happening on that channel. Uh, yes, <laughs> time's up, so we'll speed up here. Um, we were also surprised to find that, you know, uh, influencers play a very, very massive role in helping consumers not just discover products, but also figure out how it would look in them or how to use these products. And uh, so the, I would like for you to look at the bottom uh, bar which is massively different than the metro uh, uh, behavior. And influencers help consumers not just understand how to use the product, but to discover the product itself and how it would look and feel. Uh, moving along, just that, that b previous uh, behavior that I called out is much more amplified in these three categories, in health and uh, wellness, in home and kitchen, as well as sports and fitness. Here, the influencers exhibit much more influence, uh, to use a cliche. Um, we will I think this uh, report, you getting a flavor of it, full of, uh, full of nuggets, full of insights. And I think some of these are obvious. It's a reiteration of some of the logics that we intuitively know as consumers. It's good to get ratified. Reasons why you kind of lose the consideration of consumers are, are pretty apparent. Availability really drives it. Uh, UI UX is again very important. How do you make sure that you are giving a frictionless uh, option? And for sure, if you're not authentic in today's time, then then you don't have a long runway ahead of you. So I think these are the things which consumers are mindful of. Um, and I think if you if you kind of flip it around, what do they look for uh, uh, when they are looking at shopping online? And and as you can see, the color bars are for urban and rest of India. Uh, again, UI UX is something which is super important. Um, choice, comparative products, pricing, all of those are important. And obviously getting the assortment right becomes very, very critical as well. Let's move it along. Uh, yep. And I think uh, these are some interesting trends as well. Um, I look uh, for a picture and I want to get that dress. You upload a photo of that. And then reviews and ratings. I think all of us operating in the online world understand the importance of R&R. &R. Pratik? So we'll try and get this session back on track, uh, and yeah. we'll we'll click through. We've Some got of many these, of these. Many You've of downloaded these, yeah. the report. Yeah. If you haven't, uh, I'll, we'll show you the QR code again. You can. Uh, we'll show you the path as well, and uh, I'll highlight a few other statistics that uh, were very very interesting for us. Um, you can read this, and we can we can move on, right? Um, 
let me just share this one bit with you around uh, uh, payment options and uh, uh, returns. So in payment options, we found that debit card is used much more than a credit card in the rest of India. There are reasons for it. Uh, look for them in the report. Um, and the other thing is they find returns very challenging because a lot of them do cash on delivery. And for returns, they need to put a bank detail on the website for cash to be sent to them. And uh, the rest of India is very cagey about doing that. Uh, so that's another thing that we found. We think for you to unlock the return on investment from the rest of India, pun intended, but not, is to follow this 6A framework. And within this, you'll find a lot of details around how to leverage uh, the aspiration that the rest of India has, how to capitalize on that, how to provide better access to them, increase awareness by leveraging influencers in social media, uh, affordance, authenticity, and they're really good at picking out fake reviews, for example, which is one of the statistics we, we uh, flipped over, and then driving adoption and loyalty. These six A's will help us get a lion's share of the pie of the $150 billion that's gonna get made in the next seven years. In 30 seconds, if I have to summarize a couple of key takeaways from this report, we are talking about penetration in the tier two, tier three, tier four cities. Please understand there's a lot of emotion attached to buying. And authenticity will be driving a lot of your, you know, adoption to your product or brand. You know, because their aspiration is to buy something better. And today, with much more informed younger generation, even in that, those cities, they are willing to pay that extra to get that better commitment to what they are eyeing for. So look through this, you know, specifics in this report. Uh, gives you a bit of a good flavor of what the new India buying pattern is going to be in coming times. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Gentlemen, I request you to stay back as I invite Mr. P. Jai Kumar, CEO, Apollo Pharmacy, to felicitate our presenters. Invite him on stage, P. Jai Kumar, CEO, Apollo Pharmacy. Requesting him to felicitate Mr. Pratik Sinha, partner and experience consulting leader, PWC India. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together. Mr. Ravi Kapoor, partner and leader, consumer groups, PWC India. And Mr. Shomik Goswami, Partner and Business Transformation Leader, PwC India. Gentlemen, a quick group picture, please. 